Hey, how's it going? My name's Josh. I'm a personal trainer and I specialize in helping men to reduce the size of their butts and to turn feminine physiques into alpha male ones. Now, today I want to discuss whether ladies look at men's butts, which is a question I found floating around the internet, which I thought would be good to answer. Now, obviously the best answer is gonna come from the ladies' mouth themselves, but I'm just gonna share my own personal experiences on how ladies have reacted to me growing up and being a man with a fat butt. Now, obviously, you know, being a kid, you know, you know, you kind of get teased for having a fat butt and it was something I was ashamed of, but it wasn't until I grew up and when I got past from 18, from the ages of 18 plus, I really started to enjoy, reap the benefits of having a fat butt. Like it's something that really helped me, especially with my training. And especially as I got well into my 20s, it was something that I really carried with pride. So even the way I dressed myself and I carried myself, I made sure to show it off. I never tried to hide it. So I would wear the tightest of jeans and the tightest of tops and my butt would be popping out. And that was fine because my upper body was balanced. I grew it and I had muscles as well. So I basically showed it off. Um, and yeah, in my experience, this is a big yes. Like women do look. The thing is, a lot of ladies in the Western culture, women aren't, in generally around the world, women aren't generally as forward as men. So they're not gonna overtly know that they've been looking at your butt and they love your butt, they love your butt. Maybe they might compliment you on your whole body. They might admire your whole body. Um, but you know, I would get comments all the time all the time um, obviously they'd be initiated by me so I might comment on a girl and her having a nice butt and she might say something about me or we might have a joke about it um, but it was definitely something that was a definite advantage uh, don't get me wrong not all ladies are gonna like your butts um, I mean some some ladies might find it unattractive um, and they're the ones that just won't show you any interest or yeah, they might not show, they just won't show any interest. So, you know, when it comes to women, I always say one girl, one vote. Like, so one, one girl might think you look completely ugly and unattractive and out of shape. And another woman, you might be their dream, their dream guy. So one girl, one vote. One moment that sticks in my mind though, is I remember being on the train in London and I was going to the O2, I believe, or somewhere like that. And again, I was wearing my usual muscle fit t-shirt, you know, really short on the arms, uh, V-shape, showing the chest, not too low, but this was like a uh, v, V-neck and tight jeans. And I remember just hearing girls whisper behind me like, oh wow, look at his butt, look at his ass. Like, and uh, I, I could hear them. And I think I was in a rush. I probably would have tried to approach one of them and, or maybe I was in a relationship, I can't remember. But, you know, if someone gives you a compliment like that or, or expresses shock, you've got to initiate a conversation. You can't like run away. But, um, but yeah, I was in a rush. But, um, but yeah, like some women really do admire it. And it's just part of the overall physique, like a powerful physique. Like women, you know, they do lust like men do. Uh, like obviously like men do over women, like women lust over men and having a powerful physique can be very handy in the dating game just you know the big glutes the thighs the chest the shoulders the arms the back just thickness and muscle everywhere is really beneficial and i think um if you have a really powerful upper body a no lower body then i think that's where that's almost takes away from your muscularity on your upper body if you've got zero lower body power or you know if you've got no muscle on your lower body as well and to be fair, I mean, there's literally guys that specialize, can you believe it or not, they specialize in helping other guys and women. Obviously, fair enough, men, there's men making a living of helping women build their glutes, but there's men who literally help men, like do the opposite of what I'm doing, to help men build their glutes. So there's a guy called the glute guy, Brett Contreras, and his whole story was he was in college and all the women were perving over or they were making comments and lusting over the football players, the jocks with the big butts and he never had a big butt and he dedicated his life to growing his butt so he could match those football players that the women were desperate to get to know. I mean that's my worst nightmare, like I'd never, 
I would never want to purposely grow my glutes. Like, um, but so it's it's interesting. So yeah, one girl, one vote. And yes, I think it's it's a, a, a it's an absolute advantage as a man to have uh, a strong set of buns, a big butt. Uh, as long as your upper body matches and you look in proportion, that's the main thing. A balanced, in proportion body. So quick one today, hope that answers this question, if you uh, had the question in your own mind. Um, if you want to find out how I changed my body from a feminine one, which I hated, to an alpha male masculine one, which I, I love and gave me the confidence um, and changed my life, download my free book, The Alpha Male Body Blueprint, How to Build a Male Body That Commands Respect and Drives Women Crazy Without Using Drugs or Steroids. Uh, it's completely free, link in the description, so grab it now. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, so I know that you enjoy this content and I'll create more. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.